I was never able to pray. Wheel me down to the shore where the lighthouse was abandoned and the moon tolls in the rafters. Let me hear the wind paging through the trees and see the stars flaring out one by one like the forgotten faces of the dead. I was never able to pray, but let me inscribe my name in the book of waves and then steer into the dome of a sky that never ends and see my voice sail into the night. Well, there's a paradox in this poem which declares something true. I was never able to pray. I've never been able to pray. Um, and the poem itself is a kind of prayer. It's meant as a kind of last poem, a final poem. Um, it puts it, I was never able to pray in the past tense. You're too weak to walk, so you get wheeled down to the shore. Um, and it takes its place. I, I, I like the tradition of American seashore lyrics. Um, Emerson says, there are two absorbing facts, I and the abyss. And this is a poem where the self comes up against the abyss. I like Whitman's poem, Out of the Cradle Endlessly Rocking. It's the self and the shore and the world, just the, the person at the end and the whirling cosmos. And um, the poem, it becomes a kind of prayer for merging with the infinite, merging with a sky that never ends. And it prays to let your voice poet's voice sail out into the night.